The oil price has been on a rebound recently, with the Brent benchmark rate climbing above the $50 mark for the first time since October. The market went into freefall in, in the summer of 2014 when oil producers, including Saudi Arabia, refused to cut production. Price of oil has dropped again. Oil prices, they plunge dropping price of oil. Saudi Arabia, as the world's largest oil producer, has been blamed for destabilizing prices for political gain. The kingdom's foreign minister commented on the accusations in an exclusive chat to RT. I think all these claims are conspiracy theories and have nothing to do with reality. Saudi Arabia is not politicizing the oil price issue. We view it from a purely economic perspective. It's the market that sets the oil price depending on supply and demand. Saudi Arabia's goal is to maintain its market share and not to support those producers who set their prices too high. Well, back in April, uh, Saudi Arabia was uh, blamed for jeopardizing an oil production freeze deal aimed at stabilizing the oil prices. Uh, the agreement was proposed in Qatar's capital, Doha, where oil giants gathered for key talks. However, Saudi Arabia, along with some other Gulf states, put forward last-minute changes demanding that Iran also take part. The move surprised many, as Riyadh itself continues to feel the pinch of low oil prices. What's going on in the country? You have 70% of the people there are under 30 years old. Over 30% of them are unemployed. Meanwhile, Saudis are waging war in Yemen, draining their budget at a time when the product, their major export item, is selling for less than half than what it was two years ago. What was it, $115 a barrel back in June of 2014? And now we're looking at $50 a barrel. They need money. And their strategy right from the beginning, according to them, was pump away in the belief that they would push other suppliers out of the marketplace. All right, coming up here on RT International, today's youth living under filthy skies and swimming in fouled waters. A worrying documentary is next regarding the future generation of this planet.